The Topograph and its little brother, the Micrograph, are three-channel drum sequencers with baked-in patterns that can instantly add rhythms to your patches. All of the patterns can be easily explored and manipulated by spinning these knobs. Even though the Topograph and the Micrograph look a little different, their controls are still the same. These bad boys are a super slick way to add some rhythm, and here's how they can sound. In this patch, everything is triggered and progressed by a topograph. This knob controls the tempo. It ranges from 40 to 240 BPM. If you'd like to sync to a clock source, you can plug it into this port here. It will automatically turn the tempo knob all the way left to EXT, which stands for external. When you sync to an external clock, you'll want to make sure that the topograph is set to the correct clock resolution. In the context menu, which is accessible by right-clicking on the module, you can find 4, 8, and 24 PPQN, which stands for pulse per quarter note. By default, it's set to 24 PPQN, which is really slow. 4 PPQN is likely the speed you would expect when using the module, so I suggest you change the settings right when you pull it up, but I'd also like to encourage you to be experimental and try out the other ones. Right under the tempo knob there are the run and reset buttons, and their respective control voltage ports. Patterns are only going to run if this button is clicked, and you can tell if it is by its indicator light. These triggers and accent outputs are the main outputs used to trigger your voices. I usually set them up as kick, snare, and hi-hat. They can trigger more exotic drums, or literally anything. The accent outputs hit frequently in my experience, so you may want to pair it with a Bernoulli gate to reduce how often they hit. Here's how that might sound. These colorful knobs control the density of hits for their corresponding channel. All the way left will never hit, and all the way right will always hit. The individual densities can be modulated with these ports here. These knobs control the patterns being played. The patterns are selected utilizing a grid, so moving the X parameter brings you along the X axis, and the same goes for the Y. This allows you to seamlessly flow through the patterns even when modulating. The chaos knob adjusts the variability of densities across all three channels. At each repeat of the rhythm, the density will change which is a great way to add some pizzazz. Another great way to add pizzazz is with some swing. There's a dedicated swing knob at the top right here. This knob's disabled if you use an external clock to progress the patterns. If you want to add swing and use an external clock, it's likely that your clock generator has a swing control built in. But there are also dedicated modules like Sesame by Silly Sounds that you can shove between the clock and the topograph to add some swing. In the context menu we've got three modes that we can choose from. There's Henry, which the manual calls the Max for Life clone mode. There's the original mode, and then there's Euclidean, which turns this module into a Euclidean sequencer. Here's how each of those modes sound with the same pattern controls. Well, that's it for this one. If you like this kind of stuff, you can let me know that by liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. All of the content that I make, including my sample packs, my VCV Rack cheat sheet, and my patch collection, are free, forever, for everyone, on my Kofi page. So check those out if you like that kind of stuff. Huge thank you to my Kofi supporters. Crusader General just showed his support again, and I'm truly grateful. Shout out to you, Crusader General. Not only are you the first supporter ever, but you're also the first supporter to show support again. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.